for too long I don't know what else to do I wanna get away from every little thing Just to try to make it through Hello guys, good morning and welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a brand new video, a very exciting one today. We are off to Finland, which I'm nervous obviously, traveling, Ooh, but I'm so excited. So we've just come to, um, we've just checked in, we've got two flights to get, and the second flight, we're not sat together either, so I'm a bit like, Ugh. Um But they're sort of like two smaller flights. I think the first one's about two, two and a half, two and a half hours the second one's like just under an hour i think so it's it's kind of like broken up you know so um yeah looking forward to it and then we're gonna do some husky sledging northern lights searching all of that good fun stuff which i honestly can't wait for bucket list type experience tom a very kindly of booked it for my like kind of christmas birthday present so yeah that is the plan for today we're just sat in one of the lounges we've got um amex cards so we've got access to one of these lounges which we're just gonna um set up just chill out get some breakfast i might go down grab a puzzler and maybe a book to read and then we'll be on our way and we'll see you probably when we touch down in helsinki and then kittler is where we're going so when we touch down in kittler it's going to be dark as well by the time we get there um, so it feel, it's going to feel like a long day, I think, seeing as they were up early and out. And we don't get there till 6pm their time. But anyway, very excited. Come along for the journey. Oh, here he is. We've made it. This is our cozy cabin, number 40. And this is gonna be our home for the next four nights. Oh, so cozy. We need to get the heated roof thing on so you can see out. Yeah, let's keep the warmth in. I can't see anything though. Oh, there we go little room tour before we absolutely trash it we've got an electric heater fire and then our bed so you can book these rooms as twins or doubles and then these are heated well when you put them on they're heated so it melts all the snow so that you can see out and hopefully see some northern lights got a little sofa area little bar area and then at the back you've got actually a pretty spacious bathroom shower oh it's like a wet room that's why shower on that side we made it we got rituals products after oh a journey i feel like to get here we had to get two flights manchester helsinki helsinki kittler and the flight the first flight was delayed so the second flight we were told gate 27 whoever's on the kiss of flight you need to run we ran and then we got there checking in well they weren't even boarding the plane yet because it was delayed by over an hour i think they delayed it for us and some other connecting flights that didn't make it on time or that were also delayed and then they were having to wait for baggage and everything so anyway we got here a lot later than anticipated but we're here we went to have some food at the buffet and now we are ready to just i think get cozy chill out we've got a jam-packed day tomorrow starting with husky sledging no yeah no husky safari in the morning and actually our whole itinerary is different to how we originally thought it was going to be i think to do with Obviously the chances of you seeing the Northern Lights, they plan it around that. I look so tired. <laughs> um, so yeah, we've actually got a jam packed day tomorrow. Early start with the Huskies. Then we've got a photography workshop, Northern Lights photography workshop. And then, <clears throat> and then we're going out trekking, this one, um, on snowshoe for two hours. And that doesn't start until about 9 p.m. So yeah, we've got a long day ahead of us tomorrow. So we're gonna get some sleep 
Head to breakfast tomorrow, bright and early. I'm so excited, so excited to see the Huskies, I'm not gonna lie. I'ma be the best damn lover you got I wanna mess up your covers I don't wanna meet your mother Never ever ask me how I've been Remember why you have my number I'm the best thing that has ever happened to you Here's your time to shine I'll show me what you can do The way my hands feel We have just got back to the room from what I think is going to be the highlight of my trip. I'm not going to lie, that husky sledging experience was so good. I've just got back, we've put on the um, heated, what's it called? Glass. Glass. So that we can, um, you can see it start to like crack as it like melts the snow away. So we've got a bit of free time this afternoon to just chill out and then tonight we have Aurora Lights Hunting by Snowshoe, which is like 9 p.m. till 11 p.m. So that's gonna be an adventure. Now, we're not getting our hopes up because online it says tonight there is a 0% chance that we're gonna see them. So we're just seeing it more as like a snow track tonight. Tom's thinking about doing ice fishing, aren't you? Or have you been put off by it now? Yeah, she said it's a bad time of year to do it. Like, there's a good chance that you might go there and not catch anything. And because that experience includes the snowmobiling, we're doing that anyway tomorrow, the snowmobile. Um, but yeah, we took it in turns to drive the sled today. Sled? Sleigh? Sledge? Whatever. It was a good time. I'm wearing today, I put on my Gilly Hicks fleece, which was lovely and toasty they give us these snow suits actually they're like an all-in-one uh proper thermal stuff so although i have brought my own like ski outfit which we are allowed to wear um i think i'm gonna wear my own boots from now on though those moon boots rather than the boots they provide you um but yeah and other than that i've got lululemon leggings on and i've got thermals underneath this from they're old from top shop they're like old ski thermal legging type things like tights and then just a long sleeve basic from H&M. So that is what I wore today. One pair of socks, definitely should have laid up with two because um, we were feeling it on our fingertips. And then also the mittens that they provide. I've got these ones, I absolutely love these. They're from ASOS, the Collusion. And I think next time I'm gonna wear these under the mittens because I just feel like I needed that act extra added layer my fingers did get freezing on that on that um husky thing it's got the little rope that you can put it through your sleeves so that you don't if you take them off they just hang there cute and i also picked us up these for the rest of our trip as well hand warmers definitely could have taken them some of them today and foot warmers so now any other trip that we've got we are prepped and ready and we know how cold it can really get <laughs> done some outfit posing outside and the snow is this is the heaviest i've seen it actually so far isn't it because it's been like kind of light dusty it's like proper snow now so mittens on let's go grab some lunch this is our first lunch here actually dinner i have to admit if ever you're thinking about coming here tom's a foodie aren't you and how good's the food it is buffet but which suits me i prefer buffet well, you can get a la carte yeah but i'm happy to just have the buffet 
that's included. Like I actually prefer a buffet because then you can just have like a bit of whatever you want. Um, and yeah, they, they basically did like a meat, which I don't actually know what meat it is. Do you reckon it was reindeer? I reckon that was reindeer, yeah. It felt quite thick, didn't it? Don't. It's been like rich, yeah, like yeah. venison is yeah, rich. Yeah game yeah um veg and potatoes what was it like a gratin so good wasn't it so what they're gonna do for lunch we will see you enjoying your trip so far get them boots classics there, aren't they? i like your hat tom had a little spend in patagonia before coming didn't you and it looks cute i like it right have you got that key yeah like snowstorm Oh, look how bright it is. I'm going to show you what the cabins look like in daylight. Can you see the snow? It's snowing. And then over here we've just got the trees, the wilderness. It's blooming beautiful. Right, let me spin you around and show you what they look like in the daylight. So this is our cabin, number 40, and then that's the heated glass, obviously, so that you can see out. We did wake up this morning and it was full of snow, so it would obviously been snowing in the night as well. And then, so if you're sat up in the bed, this is your view just gorgeous so so peaceful as well look at that icicles tom i always say if ever we murdered each other <laughs> icicles is your best bet because the evidence just melts away <laughs> so what did you say when we went to the huskies you were like oh look plenty of opportunities <laughs> to grab a murder weapon for you here i'm gonna kill you i'll kill you here anyway on that note let's go grab some lunch <laughs> Every detail in my head But it doesn't really matter Nothing matters so I cry instead I've been running circles Trying to catch my breath I've been trying everything I can But I ain't got nothing left Good morning. I don't know if you can tell from outside that. Yeah, there we go. Bright blue skies today, which means only one thing. We are hoping to see the northern lights tonight. This is the first time we've had a clear sky since we've got here. And we did have an expedition planned last night to go searching for the northern lights, but we decided to move it to tomorrow night just to raise our chances that little bit higher of seeing them. However, we got to breakfast and those people that were on that trek last night saw the northern lights so in fact we even were speaking to a family and they'd said um they'd seen them from their hut so i don't know how we missed them but uh we've got an app that kind of like tracks them like there's an app called aurora reach which basically shows you where they are at any given moment so that if they're in your area you can like maybe keep your eyes peeled for them so anyway we've got tonight to go hunting for them by heated sleigh which sounds fun and then uh tomorrow night we're hunting for them on snowshoe which is what we postponed from last night to tomorrow night so that's the plan. We've also got snowmobiling this afternoon, which is good fun. I'm excited for that one. We are, it's two person per snowmobile, so we're like sharing it and sharing the drive. And we went to see the reindeers yesterday, which is good fun. Again, they've got loads of different experiences that you can do with reindeers, depending on the length of time that you want to do it for. If you've got kids, you want to see Santa, that whole experience. Um, but we, um, we just did the like trek to walk to them, which is like literally a five, 10 minute walk. And um, just sort of like stood at the fence to say hello to them. They were so cute. There seems to be shedding their antlers at the minute. So yeah. Um, but yes, yeah, so we went to say hello to the reindeers. Other than that, we are potentially thinking about because we've not got anything booked in for tomorrow morning um, or day really, because the snowshoe trek at night, all the Northern light stuff, it happens at night. Um, so we've got a free day tomorrow basically so we were thinking about potentially inquiring about doing the snow what's it called cross-country cross -country skiing yes yeah, so it's not like skiing down a slope it's skiing with the poles and like going cross country so it's probably a bit more of a workout that's a two-hour experience so we're going to ask about that see if they've got any availability for tomorrow and how much it is other than that, we've just had breakfast, got back, just chilling in the room, just doing a bit of work and just enjoying this view, first and foremost. But also just waiting until 
I say waiting until lunch, but I'm still full from breakfast. It's, um, we're on a full board, so we're basically overeating. <laughs> Other than that, it's a blooming fantastic time we're having. Gutted that we missed the Northern Lights last night, and fingers crossed, keeping everything crossed, that we see them today. It is minus 21 today. It's cold, colder than I thought. My mood boots keeping my feet nice and toasty. But um, other than that, it's just plenty of layers because it's cold. It is cold. I've been doing um, some outfits, sharing them over on my Instagram. If you wanna know kind of like what clothes to bring and what I've packed and brought, I've just been sharing them as and when I can. So yeah, if you've got a wintry getaway and want to know all the clothes I'm wearing, this top is just from Revolve and then I've just got basic white tee on from Primark. My Lululemon leggings, which I've lived in and I don't have thermal tights on underneath these today just to go to breakfast. And my knees were so cold. It's only a short five minute walk to breakfast, but it's cold. So yeah, socks as well, tend to double up on them. And other than that, the outer layer is the best thing because obviously it's just like one big snowsuit that they give you. Hopefully see the Northern Lights, but we'll see. We'll keep you posted on that. We'll keep posted. Oh, it's 11.11 and there's little Barney. We're missing him. He would have loved to see the Huskies yesterday. He'd have got bullied. No, he wouldn't. He'd have been, he'd have been riding up front with the rest of them. Absolutely loving life. He'd have been a bit chunky compared to the rest of them. And Vets told us he's put on a bit of weight. Oh, well, I can't put that in. I have to cut that out. Yeah, no, the vet said just watch his weight. He'd have got bullied, little posh dog. Little posh dog. He'd have gone, where do, where do you sleep? <laughs> Where's what? your home? Where are your toys? Yeah, where are the toys? <laughs> oh, what do you mean you don't play with toys? It's a view out of our villa. Look at the thickness of, of the snow on top of the villas. It's crazy. Look, you can see ours there. show you that we're back in the room fire on as you can see we're looking up at the stars oh you definitely can't see that on camera I'm just gonna head into the bathroom we're about to woo, we've been lying watching the stars in the pitch black for, for maybe the last hour or so oh gosh before we head out tonight on a heated sleigh ride it's a three hour excursion it's quite long um and we've been downloading all the apps checking all the apps it's not looking likely that we're going to see them but you never know that's what we're being told you never know we've still got tomorrow night as well um i don't know why i'm doing that i'm gonna take my makeup off so that um by the time that we are done and we get back tonight about half 11 then i can just get straight into bed so i'm just going to take off all my makeup using some micellar water and keep my fingers and toes crossed that we get to see some lights at some point in this trip i'm literally crouched down so that you can see me but i think we're just going to um other than our little sleigh ride excursion just call it a night and i'm definitely going to be wrapping up and taking foot warmers and hand warmers because when we were out on the we went out on some snowmobiles earlier which was great that was a two hour trip which was like at sunset and it was so beautiful and like the midway point there was um like a little tent in the middle of nowhere where we went in started a fire 
had some hot juice that they give you which is like a berry juice and they heat it up for you it's so cute and some biscuits and we just chilled out there for like 20 minutes and then got back on the snowmobiles to drive back and then tom was driving back that time and um yeah we couldn't we weren't allowed to get our cameras out whilst we were on them because we were literally going like 60 what did you say 65 65 kilometers an hour on these things it was so much fun but yeah it was a really good little trip out definitely recommend apparently it's like the big five when you come to finland you've got to do i was reading this earlier see the northern lights if possible husky sledging which we've done see the reindeers which we've done snowmobiling which we've done and then snowshoeing which is what we're doing tomorrow and we've actually also booked on to do some cross-country skiing as well that they do at this resort that you just kind of like you know grab the poles and you're on skis and you just it's a bit of a workout so we're doing that in the morning at 10 o'clock let's keep our fingers crossed that we're gonna see some lights tonight and i'll update you guys well you'll either see in this next clip or i'll update you guys in the morning as to whether or not we got lucky saw the lights last night we did i will be honest they were faint they were within the green spectrum apparently they go like green into amber into red and when they're obviously in amber and red they're much more visible but i did take a couple of snaps look at me all wrapped up i'm about to go to the restaurant and meet tom i'm just coming back to grab my laptop we basically just saw a haze and we were like that's it and then we came back and they were almost well, they were probably stronger back here. So we were watching them from our bed. So romantic, so lovely. We took a few photos and so glad we've got that ticked off our bucket list. But we're keeping our fingers crossed that we see them tonight again when we head out on snowshoe this time. So anyway, we've just had lunch. I'm just um, taking my bag over to the area where we have lunch because there's like a nice warm fire in there and everything. And I'm gonna take my book as well. This one. The Serenite one that I picked up at the airport for the flight. Buy one, get one half price. So I picked up this one as well, which I've not read yet. And um, yeah, I think I'm just going to take that, my laptop, just get kick started with this vlog that I want to edit. And then spend a couple of hours just chilling this afternoon over there. Just have some nice hot chocolate maybe. We both need to do some bits for the house actually. And then we're going to get all wrapped up and warm again later on for hopefully seeing northern lights night number two and tonight's our last night then we've got a leisurely start in the morning and our airport transfers booked at half 11 it's possibly my favorite holiday i've ever done so yeah i do feel like an eskimo right now i'm going makeup free today as well that's actually something that i was reading about in here and uh you know love wearing makeup but some days just want to go makeup free and i put a bit on this morning cried off all my mascara doing that cross-country skiing i thought you know what sod it taking it off i'm going to show you my fragrance of the trip so i got this um through pr a while back from bjork and berries and it's in the scent white forest it smells lovely and i just feel like this is a lovely fragrance to bring with me on this trip to kind of you know like a fragrance reminds you of a memory or trip so this is my Finland adventure fragrance. Oh, it's snowing. Wow, this is the most it's snowed since we've got here, Tom. Oh, is it? Yeah, it's like fine snow, but it is snowing. We are waking up for our final morning here. We're setting off midday, so we've got the morning to pack. Look how deep it is outside. Oh, God. I was... Oh. Is that your alarm? Um, oh, wow. 
Oh, this is really deep, Tom. Yeah, that is really deep. I thought it seemed... Oh, okay. No, 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 I'll keep going. It's a bit ang... Yeah. All right, tell me. <laughs> They're here. Woo! Oh, it's a bit cold. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go have our breakfast this morning. Last night was a bit of a success, a bit more than the night before. We did manage to spot some northern lights. We literally got our snowshoes on, went in the deep snow, so it was like up to our knees. My eyelashes have had frozen, so they've gone a bit funny shaped. Oh yeah, you, can you grab my suit? Oh yeah, right, I'm gonna grab my boots. We're gonna hand in our stuff and then check out in a bit. But yeah, it was a success last night. We were, we're happy to have seen a little bit more lights than we did the night before to kind of round off our trip. But yeah, let me put this camera away because it's a bit of a blessed help. <laughs> Goodbye, room. This is the last time we're looking at this view. Bloody gorgeous. Um, Tom's left some biscuits, you don't want them. Let's grab our bags and let's get out of here. Oh, I'm gonna miss this place. Best holiday ever. Off we go, back to see Mr. Barney Boo himself. <laughs>